I came out to give some water to the squirrels and some seeds, and we had a special guest out here. If I can get her. Oh. You scared her away. You did. Oh, no, there she is. She's in the tree. It's a little green. I think it's a green finch. Hi there. If I can get her. There she is. She's hiding in the tree. She's coming down. There she is. Hi. Hey there. That's my first time catching this bird. I think it's a, a finch, a green finch. I have to go back and look it up. The squirrels have been chasing her off. See? <laughs> Big greedy. Let's see, where did she go? Yeah, hi there. Hello there. He's so pretty. Hi. Enjoying the feed. Oh, where did he go? I'm looking through the... So well camouflaged. Where did she go? There she is. Right there. Hey there, beautiful little green bird. And guess who else is out here? Enjoying the feed. And guess who else is out here? Way up there. Circling around the hawk. She was over here a minute ago, but she'll be back. Circling around. My neighbor got a bird bath over there. Oh, I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. <laughs> Just squirrels today, no jaybirds today. Well, that's good. This little one can get to eat because the bigger birds run the little small ones off. I don't get to, this is like a real treat. It's a real treat to see this one. And uh, I've also seen the, the female canary is in the area too. She might be a female canary, um, cardinal, cardinal. Yeah, the female cardinals are the same color as this one, but they have a little perch on the head. The crest on the head, that's how you can tell the difference. Just look at that. So I've been trying this new wild bird feed and I just happened to get get this one and look who's coming over here to scare her off again big greedy butt hey little nibble little nibble is over there little nibble well, he's the smallest one. Hi there. You're getting closer and closer to me. Hi. Hey there. I don't know what's going on with my uh, phone. It's not focusing right for some reason. 
it might be taking still shots I don't think I said it right There's one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six squirrels back here. But uh, I was fortunate to get this little one. She's the only bird right now. They've been jumping at her because they want all the black seeds to themselves. The jaybirds are, I guess, warning everybody about the hawk. Look at all these squirrels back here. All these squirrels back here. Some over there. There's some in the tree coming down. And she's still here. She must really be hungry to be this close. She's about five, six feet from me right now. I'm standing in the door. Hadn't been back here in a while. It's too hot. But since the, uh, since we finally got some rain, Everything's coming back to life. And as you can see, my grass is not dead anymore. It's green. It's coming back. And the, the ground cover is also coming back. I put a lot of feed out. So I got some corn down there. But she is the star of the show today. And I have to go back and look in my little bird book and see which one she is. Um... She may be a young female cardinal or a green finch, I think. I have to go look it up. She's enjoying, looks like she's nibbling on millet. Yeah, she likes the millet. She's picking at the millet. It's a mixture of grain seed that I have. And I'm wearing my gloves. My gloves. Because I've been changing the water. And I got my P PPE on. My little mask on. Uh, because, you know, they say that... Um, some of the birds are still carrying uh, avian flu. And um, uh, I don't know if humans can get avian flu, but it's possible that we could possibly get a virus from handling their water and stuff like that and picking up their feces or something like that. But she looks pretty healthy. She doesn't look sick. I haven't seen any birds with uh, losing their feathers other than just regular shedding from the heat. The squirrels look okay. It's a female here. I don't know if she's nursing or not, but she's a female. And these two over here are males. Over here, a couple of males and a young... Oh, she flew off. Well, I was looking at the squirrels too much and she flew off into the tree. I guess she had enough. Let me finish doing the water. And I have some trees to go pull up that fell. Some tree branches that fell down. Hey there, mommy. 
The other mommy's in the front. She's a little bit bigger than this squirrel here. And that's a male right there. A little skinny one. He's a young male. He, he might be fully mature now. Oh, that's a female right there. She has breasts too. And then there's one up in the tree up there. Uh, getting ready to come down being defensive of her tree or his tree I gotta change that water out before algae gets in it and the sparrows are coming now I see a sparrow over there in the tree They like dirty water. They like drinking each other's bath water, but I try to change it out anyway because you just never know who's sick or what they might catch from each other. So I just, I change the water at least once a day and wash out the, um, the little water bowls I put back there. Now that's rainwater that's in there now. And they had a little bit of that from the other day when it rained a little bit. But um, I try not to let that set too long because it, it will get algae in it and algae can be toxic. A high content of it. And these are the two females here. You like those black seeds, huh? I noticed they will only eat the corn as a last result, but they they really want the black seeds. So it's a mixture of seeds back there. Uh, so there's mimino bullying. The squirrels will get all of the the black seeds and peanuts if I throw that out. And sometimes I throw out some walnuts. But they really want the black seeds, the sunflower seeds. That's what they're here for. Hey there. Hi. How you doing? How you doing? Other than a few fleas, you look pretty healthy. They don't look sick, but they got some fleas on them, though. Hi there. Tastes good? You gotta try some of that corn. See how fast they eat. Get a close up. Hey there. I usually get one great big bag of black blackened seeds along with the uh, mixed feed so that the pigeons and uh, the smaller birds can get some of the millet and some of the corn and other uh, grain that they have mixed in it. As you can see it's a mixture of grain down there. I don't use a bird feeder because I really don't want to worry about having to clean it. And they fight over stuff like that. So I just toss it out on the ground. And that way it's, you know, they just come through and get it when they want. They eat as much as they want and they move on. They eat off the ground. Anyway, I mean, when they can't get it right off the tree, they will pick it up and forage through the grass and stuff like that. See what you're doing over here. Oh, uh huh, it's back. Oh, where'd she go? Man, that's a big one. The 
eagle is back. Not the eagle, but the hawk. And that jaybird is up there in the tree. Hey, Jay. And the pigeons are up there. The pigeons are really shy. They will come down when I leave. And they will finish up the corn and this millet. And I'm going to finish changing this water out. I was going to throw some bread out. Pieces of bread that I have. So the pigeons can come down. Anyway, bye mom. Bye mom. See you later. See you later. I was trying to get the the hawk circling over, but uh, it went over to the other street over there. It went off into the other street, so I don't see it. But it's hunting, so you better hurry up and eat. See you later, Mommy. Want to say bye?